everybody and welcome. Today we are at the Oddies and Curiosities Expo. I'm very excited to be here. We're going to see some weird, strange, and out of this world, some taxidermy, some cool art, some stuff from local artists, and just weird stuff. This is one of my favorite events. I went to it the first time last year. I can't wait to show you guys some more of it this year. So let's go take a look. So it's kind of cool. They have their own merchandise all around here. I really like the shirt where it's the curiosity cabinet. And then they have their like tour dates on the back of it. It's really cool. I just, I, I like it. It's pretty cool. You can get posters of the event from your place. So like there's Salt Lake City right there on that one. So over here, they actually do um, classes over here for taxidermy. So they have a rat that you can do. And then they also have some butterflies and some bugs you could do, which is an extra fee. But I think that's really cool that you can even do your own taxidermy at the festival. That's so fun. There's so many pretty bugs here. Look at them. I love the beetles. And of course you got cool leather helmets above them. Like there's just a wide variety of them. And even pelts that have art on them. That's super cool. You got beavers on beaver pelt. That's a little, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. There's so many cute animals from chickens to ducks, raccoon tails to just a full on alligator. But some of the artwork is really cool what they did with some of the bones. But the little parakeets are, they make me a little sad. Just a little sad. Oh, there's supposed to be little angels that passed away. That's so sad, but also cute it's a way of them passing away. They do have the world famous jackalopes here. They did capture them and they are for sale. So that's always good to see. So this is something unique. A skull vending machine. Five dollars you can get a skull or an Alvin Avon counter. It gives mystery skulls every day of Christmas. How fun. That's so cool. It's crazy how affordable some of these things are from tells to alligator heads. Like there's so many varieties. It's so cool. This booth is super cool. They got so many unique taxidermy, and honestly, the setup's done really nice. But the monkey's really cool to me. But I was really impressed by these guys, just looking at some of their skulls, and how it's, and honestly, pretty affordable too, which I'm very impressed. With. I mean, for a whole monkey, it's a thousand dollars. It's really cool some of the art you can find of some of this, the bone displays. I think they're really cool. And they have some really cool double-headed twins over here. Dolls that are melting away. Really neat shrunken heads. So I was looking at this cool booth. Rocks, antlers, little worry dolls. Beer coasters with fur on them. So fun. I really like these bone decorations right here. They're really cool. Great Texas Chainsaw Massacre. This is probably one of my favorites, is the Muppet Taxidermy. That's so cool. I really like it. Also, if you're looking for one, here's their information right there. Because that is so cool. It's not every day you get to see full on giraffe out on display. Well, I guess not full giraffe, only a head of a giraffe, but that's still a big item. And right there, just by a million monkeys as well. That's so cool. This is such a fun booth. You got taxidermy, walking other taxidermy in like a city setting. It's super cool. I, I like them, they're very clever looking. Now this is unique, a taxidermy carousel. All the bugs are real on it and that's so cool. I'm really impressed by that. And over here they got a starfish, that's a little odd. But they got some really cute stuff like, I love these cowboy ducks over here. They're so cute. Or you got the cursed monkey paw down there. Be careful with that one. Too many wishes. They have this really cool skull up here that looks like it's all kind of taken apart. It's a bamboo skull. But that's really kind of cool and unique. I haven't seen anything like that here. They got these really cool like, taxidermy prof face plans and then face huggers are over here. They're really cool. So you don't even have to get real taxidermy, you can get big taxidermy, but they're still just as unique. Oh, they do have a voodoo doll to pin. You, you gotta give it a little poke somewhere. We'll, we'll give someone a little poke on the side. You, you, you know who you are. 
They're kind of cool looking. They have just like little stories with them. Just like skulls and scary hands. So what's cool is they actually have live performers here from clowns to circus acts going on. So it's really cool. No, I believe in you. You've got imagination. You're still young. It hasn't like sucked the world and sucked it out of you yet. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do it. <laughs> See if anyone got in the Mark Twain coat, that could have been yours. <laughs> That's the thing about imagination, it's pretty subjective. So thank you for being subjected to my imagination. Sometimes you can just find a mummy or haunted old dolls. It's so fun, just all the unique stuff that you can find at each booth. And some very custom arts over there too. You can even buy the Necronomicon and use it as a personal journal. Ink it with your own human blood. Super cool. You can buy your own custom soaps and perfumes that are very spooky themed. I love my shiny body wash. I, I mean, I don't want to talk about what happened in that shower scene, but, you know, I bet it smelled great. I think the art at the booth is so cool. The remotes decorated with the mushrooms. Very unique. And of course you got a million Audrey tooths. A tooth plant, which is really fun. And sometimes you can find just little devil hats to wear. They're super cute. I really like them actually. This booth has a really cool like bags of different books over here. They even have a Frankenstein <laughs> one, which is really cool. Right. There's a lot of room in them too. And there's not a lot of places where you can find a heart, a possum, a Barbie doll right next to each other. I mean, I'm not even quite sure what this is over here, but I, I dig it. I, I like it. It's got a good pose. Quite skinny, though. Also, there's just armadillo shells right there. That's crazy. Some owls, just some skulls, just a little bit of everything. Something really cool is they actually do like palm reading, different booths, tarot cards. So if you want to experience that, you do get that opportunity at this location. I'm not going to show them just because that's a personal experience, but I think that's really cool that you can still do that while you're here. And over here they have a whole bunch of sweets. You get a Book of the Dead, Beetlejuice, Spellbook. That's so fun. Oh, you got killer candies over there. So we decided to get a handbook for the recently deceased. Um, brownie. Uh, cookies and cream sandwich and look how thick this thing is. It looks so good. Yeah, these guys make delicious little sweets and I can't wait to try it. It looks super good and it's really pretty looking. As I was saying, it's pretty big, so let's give it a try. It's gonna be all up in my mouth, but that was super good, really sweet. So it's like one bite, I'll get back to it. One bite, get back to it. But it was really, really good. So at this booth, they have it based off a whole bunch of serial killers, but they got Kool-Aid shoes, Twilight shoes, killer shirts based off of killers, Kool-Aid shirts, join the cult, very fun. I mean, who doesn't want to dress up famous killers? So over here, they have such cool lamps. Some vintage ones, alligator ones, all sorts of different ones. Super cool. This is probably one of my all-time favorite artists at the, here. I just love the artwork. It's super cool. So I just had to show off. Like the monster ones up there are so cute. You can even get a little Pazuzu over here. You don't even have to travel. It's just right here in Salt Lake. Look how cool this art is. He loves you this much. He's just a goofy guy. Just loving everyone. Some really cool artwork coming up. Love thy neighbor. Oh, keep one in every house. And this booth's really cool. You can actually get like vampire hunting kits in here. They're super fun looking. Really cool displays. I don't like the artwork of you and the skulls there. This feels a little Silent Hill-esque. 
But it's still really cool. I really like this person's artwork. They do a really good job. I am so impressed by so many artists here. They're so good and I'm just beyond impressed, mind blown, some would say. If you get a chance to come to it, it's really cool. And you can even see a lot of your local artists around here too. They got coffins that you can use as a sink. That's really fun. And over here we have a mirror that's a guillotine. That's so cool. I love like a gothy, but practical use. Um, a wine rack holder over here. That's super fun. I, this is really cool. Oh, so cool. Bookshelves are plenty. Collecting shelves. A great place to put your trinkets. And don't worry, they got the wagon coffin. Only $500. Honestly, that's a killer deal. So something that's really cool is they have a little bit of everything for everyone. So it's not just dead animals or something very strange. Like It's just fun Halloween stuff too. Like this is a really fun pin bag. Over in this booth, you can even buy mushrooms that plug into the wall. You get them painted to look like what you want them, or you can get custom ones and paint them up yourself. That's kind of fun. Oh, they got these cool faux ops. Look at this. I could be this or this. Don't worry. I got one right here as well. But don't worry. This is the hardest one. This one. This one's hard. We got a cool creature over here. Then we got a cooler creature over here. Something that's really cool. Um, there's actually two other conventions going on in this building. We got a tattoo festival and then also a gem and rock festival going on. So that's so fun that all these are going here. You got a little bit of everything for a little bit. It all fits together. It's like a puzzle. They all just work together. Something unique at this booth is they'll take pictures of you, but it shows your aura. That's really cool. And of course, it's got to be under there so they can actually get good photos. Okay, so we made it back into the car. Um, I want to show you a couple things of what we got. We didn't get a ton, but I got this little bug guy. He's really cool looking. Um, just a beetle or a tick, I think. I'm not quite sure, but I like him. Um, and then Bryce, his ears are pierced and he got these really cute, ne oh, maybe, 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 Necronomicon earrings. You got these really cute Necronomicon earrings. They're super fun. I like them a lot. And that's it. They're just a couple fun things, but we just, it was, it was a great time. I had a good time. All right, so that will do it for us here at the Eyes and Curiosities Expo. It's so fun. I love seeing all the strange and unique stuff here. There's just so many creative people here, and I just love it. it there's a community that you just feel very welcomed here. I, I just, I enjoyed it. It's fun. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see where we decide to run the water next.